Hello, I'm Introducing and welcome back to Thrawn the Depths. Okay, I've done a little bit of work off camera and I've extended this front section a little bit so that we've got like extra room to put more rooms in. Yeah, and I've actually uh, increased the thickness of the ceiling in certain places like below the turret, over the like command and control center, and over the top of the ammo because I don't want the ammo exploding because that would be bad. Um, I've also made the missile turret thing out of metal rather than wood, so I replaced that and just made it out of metal. So it should be able to take a hit, possibly. But anyway, I think it's time to start on a boat. And we're going to make it out of wood, and then we can always like, cloud it with metal afterwards, so it won't be like particularly needing our metal, because we have none right now. So let's get going on that. Okay, so I would like to build... Bring ourselves out here. New object. Vehicle. And then that's going to sit in the water. Okay, so go out of build mode. Then, B. Not, not B, sorry. Q. Grab vehicle. Uh, hold distance of 30 meters. Select that vehicle on. Hello. Maybe you need to be held a little bit further out. 40 meters, that's better. Right, can I build on you from here? I can. Awesome. Right, so this is going to be a boat. Now, if we bring up V, vehicle, you will be named the Wing Zero. That sounds like a plane, but that's a Patreon list name. You are the Wing Zero from now on. We're going to use color picker. Actually, no, this is going to be wooden and it's going to be the inside afterwards. So actually, I will clad it in the color afterwards. For now, we'll just stick with plain old wood block. Would beam. Right, so I've filled the bottom of the boat with stone. I've put an engine in which is capable of almost 2,000 power. So this engine is like ridiculously over spec so far. Uh, we've got to find someone to put ammo in as well, and that is going to be a concern because ammo's dangerous. Uh, like I've said before, ammo is ammo really dangerous. I might put a partition partway up the hull in which we can like put an ammo stockpile on, make it like out of metal and stuff, but... I don't know. I mean, we could put it behind the engine and then just like highly, highly like defend it. That might be a good idea. I mean, right at the back, we've actually got a lot of wood sitting here and we could just hollow out the center of this wood. And you know what? That might not be a bad idea. Let's go to blocks. And I might even make this entire back bit out of metal to prevent the explosions. But I will right now go immediately to metal and put metal wall up. So, bum bum. Bum 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 bum. And then fill. Fill. Now the idea is that should keep the ammo fairly safe. Not massively safe and we will clad the back in metal. But that should give a little bit extra protection against shells coming in over the decks, etc. Um, so far, I'm actually really liking the look of this ship. I really am. I, I think it is a pretty decent ship, all things told. Now, the question is, what do we do for the Wing Zero weaponry? I'm thinking missiles, because missiles are easier. I mean, the cannon The cannon issue is you get top heavy if you put a cannon on. Now, cannon, by the way, if we put a cannon on, it will have to be at the front, not the back. Now, the reason for that is if we put a cannon on the back, the barrel moves around over the top of missile tubes. Missile goes up, hits the barrel. Do it at the front, it's fine. The only issue is if you fire rearwards, but that's unlikely to happen. Um, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, you don't want to fire rearwards because the enemy behind you, why would you want to do that? You're better, you know, armoured forwards, etc. And also, I am as at the back. So we actually want, if we're going to put a deck gun on, it'll be front. So I want missile tubes about here. What I might do is have some torpedo tubes, or maybe even side guns. Maybe we could have, uh, like, little, not particularly big, but little, like, side-mounted guns. I don't know. I mean, the issue with that is we don't have much space. 
if you put like a firing piece here, a couple of barrels, I mean four barrels, a couple of gauge increases, a couple of, I mean, you could probably make it work, but it wouldn't be great. That said, I kind of really like the idea of having like a, uh, a broadside. Just being able to like turn broadside onto the enemy and just unleash. Ah, oh, I, I really, I'm really digging that now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have vertical firing missile tubes down the center of the craft. Have a broadside capability on each side. Maybe a gun at the front. We'll figure that out. And I would like torpedo tubes. I will have like a couple of torpedo tubes, maybe at the front, like really far forwards, like here, just coming out of the holes in the front, like really far below the waterline, that just fire torpedoes. And they'll be a long range, then we close to broadside range, and all the time we're firing like vertical fire missiles. So our broadside is our last line of defense. Everything else is missile based. Now, I mean, you can yeah. see I've been playing around with the cannon design, and we've got this pretty large cannon on the side. So let's go down, have a look at it. Now, the thing is, um, I don't want to make the barrels too long, because it would look it would look weird. I mean, it looks pretty weird as it is. So if we go here, you see that we have an inaccuracy of 4.3. I really want half that, but we'd have to make the barrels so much longer, and that, that's just that's just not good enough, frankly. So what we currently have is something with a kinetic damage of 460. What I'm probably going to do. And actually, what I'll do it now is I'm going to remove that because I need a weapon controller on the back. So we're up to 400. That's fine. Uh, AP of almost 5. Explosive of 0. And a reload time of less than 3 seconds. And I feel that's okay. I mean, the inaccuracy has gone up because we've changed the gauge. That happens. Like, that is a side effect of increasing the gauge. Uh, of decreasing the gauge, sorry. I mean, what I could do is just make it like a ridiculous gauge cannon. But I honestly don't think that's the way to go. I really don't. I, I, I think that would be detrimental to us. I could put a, not you, I could put a gauge on there, but I, don't, I just, I don't think that would be worth it. Now, what I can do is put a quick predictor here. Predictor, 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 predictor. There you go. Facing that way. Bam. I need one of those. And that's going to be deck level. Um, I could put a gauge increase here. Decrease the inaccuracy. Might be worth it. Now, I have to have um, these barrels like this. Now, this I could have different type of barrel, and that would increase the accuracy. But I need the motor-driven barrels, and I need the recoil barrels. A couple of reasons. Firstly, motor-driven barrels. Very important. Those allow me to have a, 70, a 45 azimuth from a 45 elevation. That's what I want. I want to be able to fire quite a large degree since they're fixed on the hull. I need the recoil barrels to stop me from tipping over when I fire the damn things. Because I'm going to have five down each side. Yes. It's going to get messy. So, we're going to put the AI control block on. Local weapon controller. Okay, I need a block of some kind. Can I not attach it to that? I can. Excellent. Local weapon controller. And you have control of one weapon. I would also like you to have a AI mainframe. Can I attach the mainframe to you? I don't think so. No. Okay. Um, put the main frame here. Oh, I can. Excellent. And then I can put a, a left-right card slot. But if I turn that to the side... Can I have an up-down card slot? Is that a thing? I want a front-back card... Uh, an up-down card slot. I should be able to turn the card slot around. I feel I'm getting cheated here. Hmm, this does raise a couple of issues. Like, I can't have a card slot effectively, which means I don't have prioritization, I don't have targeting. That's fine. You know, it's it's a la weapon last resort. And we'll tell it to engage only at, like, 600. Okay. So this cannon, unlikely to be particularly greatly useful, but I, I want them, right? I I just want this cannon. That's the, that's the entire reason it exists. I wanted the cannon. Let's put the cannon in. And I'm temporarily going to remove this because I need to turn this into a prefab. I haven't put a mirror line down, have I? Okay. 
I, I will go away and uh, think about what I've done. And regret it. Right, so you can see these guys are fairly wide. But they will be able to fit down the side. So, I think we should be good. There's not going to be much room down here. I don't think we'll ever go into the belly of the ship, which is a shame. It's going to be pretty full, but uh, let's go. Get a... I'm just going to reset orientation on whatever that is. Get a uh, prefab. Temp torpedo launcher. No, we're going to call this temp side cannon. Um, white prefab. We want you pretty deep, actually, because you've got to grab everything on the outside. Length is five. I know that. Height is three? I think so. Yes, and it needs to be one wider. Excellent. Let's move this up. Ah, right. Now here's the issue. We have grabbed some of the engine. So that's fine. What we do is we wipe the prefab. Can we grab this? Yes. Build. Now I could have two sets of missiles as well. I could have a missiles for like anti-air. Like really fast moving missiles, short range. And I could have missiles for... That's actually a good idea. I'll have like four missiles for anti-air here. And we'll put those in now. Because we can. I mean, if, if, you know, we've got the time, we'll do the time. So, place you. Connector. Are you connected? Not connected. Okay, I need to remove that. I need to go missile controller. I need to flip you around. Connected. Okay. And if I put a launch pad here, connected, connected, awesome. And that should give us one, two, three, four high. We can make that work. So missile launch pad, uh, missile block, that's the one. Rotate this. Um, yeah, that look cool. Now the question is, gonna, am I going to plate the deck again, considering? And I can go up to five high on the missiles. That entirely depends. So what are we going to set the missile up for? Short range thruster. I'd like a variable thruster. And then I'd like the thrust per second. Thousand is normal. We're going to go with three thousand. Ramp time. I want it to literally, like go slowly out of the tube so that it can turn towards its target, and then I need it to, when it's turned towards its target, I need to accelerate. So we're going to have a ramp time of about six seconds. And we'll fire it to see how it works. Uh, then fuel tank, fuel tank, probably needs both. Fin, fin. Um, laser designator receiver. Frag warhead, not explosive. Frag, 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 frag. I don't think it's going to hit the target, so it's not going to be kinetic kill. And then, yeah, I need the laser, de laser designated receiver. So, frag, 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 frag. There we go. Frag with a pretty wide angle. The reason for that is I'm going to put on proximity fuse. And the idea is basically, it, even if it misses, it'll get close enough. Within five meters, it should be able to detonate and the frag should clip the target. In theory. I mean, if I actually open this up to 90, it would be better. Because it means that even if it's like at the closest approach, it will always get some frags on the target. But at that range, you know, you wouldn't be getting many frags. Now, I probably should put an extra warhead in this. So if I raised it one... Yes, that would be a good idea. Okay. So move the laser designator receiver. Laser designator receiver. Laser des... There we go. Laser designator receiver to there. 
Um, does a one turn work? One turn, and we'll put an extra frag in. Frag, 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 frag. And this frag is going to be a little bit more directed. Hmm. 22. In fact, maybe a little bit wider. Like a 30. And then I'm going to assign to all symbols missiles. So those missiles should be pretty good. Now, up front... I haven't put the AI in for this, by the way. No AI on this so far. Up front... Um, in fact, if I put a gap between these two, I could have, like, a little control room here in which you can have, like, all the AI. No, that's a bad idea. Now, the bad it's a bad idea for one reason. It gets hit, all the missiles are down. Secondly... Uh, this is going to be like AI up here, and then I want AI at the front because they don't take up the same room that missiles do, and I need space for my torpedoes. So we're going to have... Give it one space. So one space. Missile, 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 missile. That's eight. Um, missile, missile. That's 12. Yes. I feel that is a good number. So six for connector... Connected, and then launch pad. We are going to need more ammo in this ship. I've just suddenly decided, gone, oh, wait, ammo. Uh, yeah, about that. We're going to need to, like, extend the back of the ship to put ammo in there. Oh, well. Okay, and these ones, these are going to be basically like variable thruster. And you should be thrust per second. Just a little bit less. Ramp time. 2.4. Two fuel tanks, two fins. A um, laser designated receiver, and then explosive and frag. Pretty standard loadout, really. Yeah. Now, of course, we need to run the designators, uh, the length of the ship, to be able to target things. These need to be able to only target things in the air. So putting a designator, like, right up the middle would work fine. Just make sure it's clear on the deck to be able to get good uh, line of sight to things. These, on the other hand, need to be targeting basically seaborne foes. So we have 12 cruise missiles, four high-velocity um, interceptors, ideally, and then we'll put torpedoes up the front. So we're going to put the torpedoes in. I won't put the laser designation system in, probably on camera. You've seen that before. I'll put torpedoes in now. Now, torpedoes. I would like... I'm thinking two, like, massive torpedoes, because... I mean, the massive, right, bigger the missile, the longer it takes to reload, by quite a margin. But because we've got, like, cruise missiles and stuff, the main reason for having torpedoes is basically mostly for the lols. So I could put, I could put, like, one giant torpedo, by the way, that just goes down the hull of the ship down here. That would be, that'd be pretty gorgeous, I'll, I'll be honest. I, um, kind of want that now. But really, like, we could have two. And just make them not quite so long. Because we can have, like, two here. Like, that would work fine. So, we're talking one, two, three. Extra four because of the uh, length of the armor. Five. Oh, whoops. Okay. So, this is one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for armor. One is the launch pad. I feel good about this. I, I feel really good about this. This is going to be pretty amazing. 
connected. Okay. Let's grab ourselves missiles. And look at all these segments. Okay, maybe a little bit much. Prune it back a tiny bit. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. We'll have it insert into the hull a little bit. I don't need it crazy long. Torpedo propeller. Um, and this is going to be very long ranged. Torpedoes are very efficient. So having three fuel tanks... This thing's going to go far. Two thins. Magnet for mines. Regulator to make sure it lasts quite a while in the water. Otherwise, they despawn after a little while. And then that gives us... I mean, it doesn't quite give us the impact I wanted. Um, we'll get rid of the magnet. You know what? Let's get rid of the regulator as well. Let's go down. Let's strip this down, right? Make it not quite as long range. So, we'll have two fins. We'll have... Designate a receiver. And then explosive, explosive, explosive. Where are you, explosive? You're around here somewhere. I know you are. There we go. Explosive warhead. That packs a punch. That packs a big punch. Now, of course, I'm going to replace a couple of those. Um, for a start, I'd like to put some frags on board. So, you, I want at an angle of about... 45. You, I want an angle of about... 25. And then you, I want just, like, punching a hole through the ship. So, 10 degrees. And this missile, this is going to be pretty powerful. I'm so looking forward to firing that. Uh, and now we need to like hook them up to laser designated receivers. And that's going to be like really annoyingly messy. Uh, it's going to be fun. Very, very much fun. Um, but after this, I think the ship is almost ready to go. We've just got to expand the, uh, the supply of ammo. Clad it in metal, etc. We don't quite have enough metal to do that yet. And, uh, what else? Laser detonate receivers? Maybe put, like, a laser defense system on board for missiles. We won't have that ready to go immediately. We might, like, retrofit it with that. Um, that's something we could do later on. But right now, I am liking the look of the ship. I really am. I think this ship is going to be dangerous. Now, what I might do is, for my command chair, like, if you look at the moment, right, basically everything is taken up below deck. I can't really get my command chair in there unless I want to, like, park myself between the missiles or something. What I'm going to do is build, like, an aft castle. And in the aft castle, I will have, basically, it's going to be made of, like, solid metal. And I will have my command chair in there. And that's how I will control the fleet from my aft castle. And then there's a forecastle, which will have a gun. And the gun will be, like, here. Now, I won't have the gun ready to go. That will be something we retrofit onto it. But I feel that this this boat is going to be powerful. It's the Wing Zero, and I guess that makes it the Wing Zero class as well. This frigate is going to be tough. So we're going to quickly save the Constructible as the frigate. Which means I then need to rename it. Because apparently that works like that. Wing Zero. And this is going to be a pretty awesome ship. I did say it was a pretty small hull, but looking at it... I think it's going to have a lot of firepower. I think this this ship is going to be good. This ship is going to be very good. This ship is going to be awesome. But until next time, I've been Enter Elysium. I know we've just spent time outfitting the weapons on this ship, and we're not anywhere near complete, but other than setting up the laser designators, I can do that off camera. I can clad it off camera. I can fiddle around with some other things on camera. We've got the main bit sorted, the weapon systems. And that's what people really want to see, from what I understand. People want to see me put in weapon systems, not so much the normal building, which is why I'm cutting out more and more normal building and concentrating on showing you the weapon systems, because these weapon systems are going to be badass. By the way, we also have enough power to run probably two decent shields, maybe three. So I'm thinking that maybe we have like a four shield and then two side shields. But that'll be, uh, that'll be something we can look at in the future. You can very much add shields on after the fact. But I've been at Elysium. 
And until next time, let's have a quick look at our map. Still not being attacked. Oh. Yes, we are. Airborne. And they're coming here to pillage. What are you what do you have? A marauder. A Nessie. A marauder. A Shricken. Doc Grumbleton. Doc Grumbleton. Okay. And I think those are not flying craft. I don't think it is a flying craft. So they are gonna attack us. And it won't be that long. They're actually moving at a fair rate. Oh, three minutes a second. Okay, maybe not that fast. So I'm going to get a move on with this craft, and I think it'll be next time we actually have our fight. So I'm going to get a move on. I better prepare our base as well. Um, it might mean uh, cladding the last bits of it in wood, but that's fine. And we'll see what happens. I, I haven't tested any of the weapon systems. This is going to be interesting. So until next time, I've been at and it's finally going to happen, our first battle. We'll see how the Wing Zero prepares itself. The bush shell will, of course... Just sit in the uh, sky. Like the bushel is the one who has told us that this fight is coming. So I'm very pleased with the bushel so far. Admittedly, the bushel doesn't have a big job, but I mean, it doesn't have a, a prominent fighty job, but it's so important, right? Knowing that attack is coming, so good. Anyway, I'd better not waste any more time. I'm going to rest him and stay shiny.